Utilizing visual elements such as shallow depth of field and negative space to illustrate isolation, as well as frame within a frame and a continuing window motif to place visual barriers around the characters, Sofia Coppola's film Lost in Translation tells the story of two people in a foreign land experiencing feelings of loneliness and finding comfort for a short time in each other. Aging movie star Bob Harris is visiting Japan to shoot advertisements for Centauri Whiskey, which was inspired by Centauri ads Sofia Coppola's father Francis Ford Coppola had done with legendary director Akira Kurosawa in the 1970s. Aside from his work, we only see Bob engaged in solitary activities filmed primarily in wide shots, which contribute to our perception of his isolation. Bob's isolation is further illustrated through the limited interaction he has with his family. We never see them on screen, and his only communication with them is through a series of impersonal notes and unsatisfying phone conversations. In this scene in the Park Hyatt Hotel Bar, we see Bob visually separated from his surroundings. He's the only person in focus, and he's framed between darkness and a wall of lights dividing him from the other patrons. When he is recognized by these men across the bar, the camera pans him completely out of the shot. When we cut back to Bob, the two gentlemen are removed from view, with Bob gradually moving further away until he ultimately exits the frame. Recent college graduate Charlotte is in Japan accompanying her photographer husband John. Their troubled relationship was based on Sofia Coppola's marriage with her then husband, filmmaker Spike Jones. Coppola visually emphasizes Charlotte's disconnection to John by frequently obscuring his face, either by photographing him from behind or wearing sunglasses, or by geographically separating them within the frame. In this scene where they happen upon an acquaintance of John's, Copley continually keeps Charlotte visually excluded from the conversation by leaving the focus on Charlotte as the others prattle on and by squeezing her out of the frame when the focus shifts to the others. The visual language shifts when Bob and Charlotte begin to connect. Their meeting in the hotel bar is the first time in the film we see equal weight given to two characters on screen. As they spend their night on the town, they begin separated, but as the evening progresses, we see them connect more and more. As their intimacy grows, Coppola continually brings them closer together within the frame. This tight hallway draws the viewer's eyes to the subjects, as do the angles in the wall in this two shot. Bob and Charlotte's placement within the frame displays a level of closeness neither character has experienced on screen up to this point. This shared screen experience continues through much of the film. It isn't until Bob has a one night stand with a lounge singer that the visual language takes another turn. Bob and Charlotte are each boxed within the doorway, showing that something has come between them. This is further illustrated at their lunch that follows, where they are divided on screen by a large table. Once they've reconciled, Coppola brings us in even closer to our characters so we can share their connection with no visual distraction. In an interview with Variety, director of photography Lance Accord said that he kept the camera as much with the characters as possible as to convey what the actors are feeling. With these tight close-ups and their shallow depth of field, we're able to feel these characters' intimacy and focus on each other. In this wide shot, their stillness contrasted with the movement around them shows their connection to one another and their separation from their environment. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the visual style of Lost in Translation. Thanks for watching.